Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should of all ages, hi, with Shona here, about to give you the daily vlog for Friday, October 23rd at the dog's disapproval. I don't really give a shit, my backyard, not yours. And I wanted to first shout out Gavino for his five month sub. He's actually been following me on Twitch for about five years now. So it's really good to see him, and who knows, maybe one day I will get back into Clash of Clans, because I know that we had some great times on that game. And it probably wouldn't be a bad game to revisit at some point. Now, with that said, I would like to wish Nathan Bishop a happy birthday. And in honor of his 34 months that he's been subscribed to me on Twitch, pretty much all Tier 1 subs. So that means over $120 worth of subs over 34 months. I'm going to pick a game to play. I'll tell you guys later today in this daily vlog. But first I want to talk about Marvel Contest of Champions. Currently I'm over 6 million points in the 4 star featured arena. Which is pretty damn good for the fact that I have at least 6 more runs with my 5 stars to go. So I don't have to put up a whole lot of effort with my 4 stars. I'll probably run said 4 stars while I'm getting Pizza Hut with Mama Shono. But this also means that I have a little bit of spare time where I can just go play something else. I've talked with Nathan and we've agreed upon that. Also later today, I just want to let everybody know that I put out a video for Mortal Kombat Mobile. 10 things that new players should do. I have to edit it down. I'm going to do that as soon as I get my food from Pizza Hut. I'm probably going to grind a decent amount of arena grinding on Saturday. The new Nightmare Tower for Mortal Kombat Mobile came out. And if you can handle the higher battles of the regular towers... You shouldn't have a problem with the earlier fights of the Nightmare Tower because it's basically like Fusion 7 Gold. Fight 10 was pretty interesting as the opponents resurrect. I hope that mechanic is not put on bosses, but somehow I have a feeling one of the bosses is going to have that mechanic. That's not going to be a fun time. If they put that mechanic in the boss fights and you can't take off half of their health or they revive more than once, I'm sorry, but that's a cash grab and I'm not supporting it. As far as streaming Mortal Kombat Mobile goes, that's not what Nathan picked. He picked another game. As far as WWE Mayhem goes, I probably will check it out during the pay-per-view Hell in a Cell. Because there are some zombie events that I want to do. I want to see if I can get any of the zombies. I might play that during the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view and then go back to Marvel Contest of Champions. Or Mortal Kombat Mobile, I haven't quite decided yet. Might also do a little bit of Marvel Contest of Champions arena grinding on Sunday because... The important ones are running the five stars, however, I will be running the five stars at one o'clock, so I'm only going to have two cycles, so I'll probably get the milestone, get my usual 11 to 30, get a four star and 500 five star charts. On Monday, I'm going to have two five stars open up, one of which is going to be another shot at five star Wolverine, so there will be another crystal opening video. I do have a backlog of videos that I want to try to get done, so I might take a few hours and do that. I'm thinking of streaming. After my second cycle of five stars, which will probably be about seven o'clock, look for Nathan's stream there. Now, as far as Destiny 2 goes, this is another game that I could probably get back into very easily. Just like Borderlands 3, I just got to find the time for it. With this arena grind of Marvel Contest of Champions, it's really hard. But I have a feeling for the next few weeks, arena grinding is going to be a little bit lighter because there's going to be no new champions for at least two weeks. To my knowledge i hope you guys all enjoyed the mall walking that beth and i did on wednesday it was over a 20 minute daily vlog i know some of you guys do like the longer vlogs one of these days who knows maybe i'll actually put music in the videos but i do put my logo in the bottom right corner of all my daily vlogs i do try to put a thumbnail in most of my videos the old hollywood shono logo or the new hollywood shono logo whichever one matters more i know the new hollywood shono logo does not take up as much space as the old one so i kind of like it Again, if you're a graphic designer like Aaron Beverly and you guys want to try your hand at designing logos, let me know. If I don't think it sucks, maybe I will change my logo. But so far for the last seven years, my logo has been fine. I think my banner needs to change on YouTube, though. So that could be something that you guys could help develop. Also, tech reviews. I have a couple videos that hopefully I'll be working on tomorrow. Because I have a one terabyte micro SD card on the horizon tomorrow. Again, I'd like to hate on Amazon for offering it during my walk last week i saw it for about 182.99 normally it's 250 dollars or higher and for that price you can't go wrong with a one terabyte micro sd card this also gives me the opportunity to have two terabytes in a cell phone or 1.5 terabytes in my samsung galaxy tab s7 plus 
And the interesting thing is that I have an Anchor USB-C adapter, which allows me to put SD cards into my phone, like my Sony XR100 Mark 7's SD card that I use from there, which is a 512 gig, that I use for my laptop computer for storage. I'm kind of curious if I can have both of them connected at the same time. Usually they only allow you to put one or the other. That would be interesting to have multiple gigs on a cell phone. I know I have an anchor adapter that would probably make it possible. I'm not sure how well it handles hard drives. That'd be a little funny gag. Mama Shono and I are on our way to go get some Pizza Hut. Nathan wants me to check out Super Mario Sunshine from the Super Mario All-Stars 30th anniversary collection. In respect to Nathan's longtime loyalty, I gave him the choice of a game to play. We're gonna play some Super Mario Sunshine on the Nintendo Switch. This could be something that Lydia Collins could tune into. This could be something other people might be interested in tuning into. It's not Marvel Contest of Champions. It's probably gonna do decent. It's probably gonna bring in some viewers that have been tuned away from my Marvel Contest of Champions streams. And there's probably going to be some people that are tuned away from that because they want Marvel Contest of Champions. It's probably not going to satisfy the people that want Injustice or Mortal Kombat, but guess what? Sub for 34 months and then you have a little bit of say in what I do. Thank you for watching this daily vlog. It is like 70 degrees outside. If it wasn't going to rain, I'd probably be outside with my stream. But I want each and every one of you to practice some rough sex. Make sure that you wear that thong that your mom gave you for a Christmas present. Make sure that you get that dildo, shove it right up her ass, and fuck her so hard that she just can't take it anymore. Make sure then you bend her over backwards like a pretzel and give it to her Gundam style. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for yet another daily vlog. It'll probably be colder, though, so it might be time for a lasagna.